Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Lieutenant Swerve here, and last time, uh, we got three stock by a roly poly and fell in some lava. I'm still confused about this story, not gonna lie. Like, that other route just, just like, changed everything about my mindset towards this game. I have no idea, like, what was going on. And plus, I'm like, why would you ignore vanilla? I don't know. I hope this route changes something. We're going to the route where they meet Mike, so I, I don't know. Hopefully, things be different, a little different, or probably a lot different. I wonder if Kansai and the others heard our message. Beats me. I couldn't care less about them. Jeez, you sound like a robot with no emotions. That's because he is a robot, and you are too. Hmm. Even robots are nicer. I mean, if he was a robot... All you'd have to do is reprogram him. See? Already. They, already. This already like, becomes a red flag. Because like. Vanilla. The original vanilla. Actually no. That's kind of bullshit. To be honest. You know what? Never mind. Let's just keep going. Oh. The old silent act again. Huh? Brother or not. I've just about had it with you. I'm going to hack into City Hall and delete you from our family registry. Damn, she says she's going to disown you for being her older brother. It's kind of fucked up. I'm a genius programmer. That would be a piece of cake for me. Could you change my status to married then? Hi. Uh, what's up? Okay, yeah, so the, yeah, this is so this is the foreshadowing that I was talking about. I like Pi and Rachel can only see, uh, like see and hear uh vanilla. So that's why they like, whoa, what's up? Oh nothing. Anyway, we got bigger stuff to worry about. Like Like the year, right? The cell phone must have been broken. There's no way it's 1996. Maybe when we were sleeping in that pod. Pod? The capsule-like thing we were in at the amusement park. You say we were in there for a year? I mean, you've seen it in movies before, right? Frozen in a pod, and then you wake up. Yeah, that's like kind of like... That's like... Kind of like in real life you know like what if you just die and wake up in the pause suddenly you're in a war with freaking aliens and it was like listen we had to put your brain in another body because you died in like 20 something something so now we're in the year four four thousand and something something we're like listen you gotta fight you might be you might not be the same as you were before but listen man we bumped you up we gave you powers so let's go <laughs> No, you're not food. Stop thinking about That's it. That's not cold sleep. That's cold slaw. Lame. Yeah, that one was pure lame. No! <laughs> oh, he turned to iron. Well, damn. He said, All right, I'm going to just stay here. All right, guys, peace. <laughs> That's getting old, too. Yeah, we've all seen it too many times. Anyway, if you <laughs> Yo. think about it, it all makes sense, right? For example, how everyone in the town disappeared. There's no way it could happen in a day. But if a whole year passed... Everybody died. They got erased. But who'd do that? And why? Maybe while we were sleeping, we got turned into cyborgs! Uh, Delta. And that's why Mochon and Rachel have superpowers. And you do too in the future. And maybe everyone else has a hidden power too. That's so crazy that I'd normally just laugh it off. But with all these weird things happening. Come on, not you too, Geno. But even if that was true, 
That doesn't answer Aniki's question. Who'd do it? And why? Me. Good point. You, you all, what are you doing? Oh no, the face mask guy who covers his face. How can you see with that thing on your face? He looks strange, but... Human. Yeah, but... He's a human, at least. Nah, he's not. He's controlled by Mike. Human? Punch him. And I, I, feel, I, I swear to God, he's hard. Wait, pause. Human? A human! A human! A human! I just like how Niki does the same shit as everybody else. It's just it just weirds me out. Ah! Stop guys. Oh you guys are just cringe. We never imagined there were other survivors. Huh? Don't worry. I'll take you to see the master. Yo, if we see what we what we see. No? This is the facility where we live. So, there are more humans? Of course, plenty of us. I knew it! So humans didn't go extinct! <laughs> I'm so relieved! Walking all this way was so worth it. We all work together here so we can be totally self-sufficient. And it's all thanks to the Master. So, who's this master? What? No way! Hey! Guys! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No! That's bullshit. We specifically seen a cutscene where freaking Mochan was crying over Nioro. Because they thought they saw something. Unless this wasn't that scene. They gave me the wrong impression. <laughs> we got your message. You said you were heading to Ehime. Chuko, I'm so glad you're okay. Yeah, things got pretty crazy for a while, but I guess we got lucky. It's the year of the rat. That's your year. Oh, damn. Huh? What are you talking about? It's 1995, the year of the boar. Pochi, you're okay too? Yeah, somehow. I almost got eaten by a yeti, though. What? A yeti? Yoro! Are you okay? Yeah, I forgot that he likes her. You weren't attacked by any weirdos in Fukuoka? Nope. We didn't meet anyone like that. Oh. But there was one person we met. But, they, but I swear to God, he saw... Something... This guy was just like fussing, fussing. They said that, oh, they seem vanilla and stuff and blah, blah, blah. Um, what do we not, what do we go to? I went to Osaka. That's where I went. So we're going to uh, Kyoto. This is where also Chuka got bit by a rat. <laughs> We're going there to investigate the flyer. Well, whatever. It is a reference to that 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 Dragon Ball animation toy Tecmo. I said toy Tecmo. The fuck am I saying? The the Dragon Balls animators and Dragon Quest and all of that. Fine, do whatever you want. The four of us are going to Osaka. Hey, toy Tecmo. What am I saying? I'm sad, but I guess here's where we part ways. Wait a minute! I didn't mean for that to happen! The road is so long, even if Yeah, 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 stop your singing. Get it. I'm just trying to see something here. I swear, if nothing changes in this goddamn game, I'm rating it a 5. <laughs> a 5 out of 10. 
I guess Vanilla really liked this song. You guys may not have heard her. <laughs> I think okay, so. we've seen this cutscene okay. logo. Yeah, oh, I just want to go to the split path. Just go to the damn split path. Fine. Uh, okay, it's set then. Let's all go to Kyoto! Uh, Chuko, that's my line. Shut up! Go get her! Wait, so then Chuka didn't get bit by a rat. Alright, now we get to the where things are changing. And so here we are in Kyoto. Is this really Kyoto? But I thought Kyoto was like Kiyomizu Temple, Fushimi Inari Shrine, Togetsu Kyo Bridge, and Kinkakuji, Toji, and Sanju Sangendo. Yeah, and Kondo, Ishibekoji Alley, and Gion. So, what are we doing here? This doesn't feel like Kyoto at all. Ah. Uh. That's why Team Osaka is so lame. You can't appreciate Kyoto's elegance. That's pretty sad. What's so elegance about it? Tell me. This looks like a place a drunk would pee. <laughs> that is elegant. <laughs> well, elegant or not, this is a famous tourist attraction in Kyoto too. It's Nanzenji's Suryokaku Aqueduct Bridge, built about a hundred years ago. They filmed tons of two-hour suspense dramas here. Two-hour suspense dramas? I hate those things. Because of them, they always cut baseball games short. Well, we've come all the way to Kyoto, but no one's around. Just like the other cities. Hey, Chuko. So where are all the people, huh? Dead. I have no idea. On the flyer, it just said, come to Kyoto. Maybe we should have gone to Osaka. If we'd gone to Osaka, we might have found vanilla. No, if we'd gone to Osaka, Chuko would have been on her deathbed. I could have eaten takoyaki and okonomiyaki. There was no none of that, son. There was none of that. <sighs> it was just a disappointment like everything else. Hey, did you hear that? Giant crab alert. Yeah, I heard something from over there. Let's go check it out. This is it, right? Yeah. I think it was the sound of a door closing. Did someone come out? Or they could have gone in. What should we do? Let's go inside. Wait. You know the saying? Wife men avoid danger? What? <laughs> what? You mean wise men. Whatever. Let's just go. Damn, this place is dark and dank. That's... No way. You've got to be kidding. Then what is it? Whoa! W wait a minute! I said wait! That was Neon.
Yo, we had another organization trip. What's going on? Hey, are you serious? We're doing this again. Killed them. They are cringe. They're acting weird. So cold. Yeah. Everyone seems to be in a bit of a daze. Let's try to talk to them. Yeah. Let's split up and get some info. Oh, huh. all right. Let's start over here. Excuse me. What is this place? A space. Located underneath Kyoto's old Imperial Palace. Kyoto's old Imperial Palace? Oh, I've heard of it. I heard there's an underground space underneath it. I thought that was an urban legend. I didn't know it really existed. But why is everyone living here? They told us we can't go outside why not supposedly poisonous chemical rain outside poisonous chemical rain if we go outside we'll all die within five minutes that can't be true yeah because we've been outside the entire time we just came from outside oh Y'all been lied to. What do you mean, oh? They've been lied. Excuse me. What? A space. Kyoto. Okay. Oh, I thought that was... But they told... Why not? Suppose if we go... That we just... It's kind of crazy that they say the same dialogue. I don't know. Are you the ones that were passing out flyers? Flyers? It said to come to Kyoto if we read it. I don't know. I never heard of it. Now y'all look like y'all been brainwashed. That uh, like aside from people from Mike, Mike was just chilling, and some. I don't know. And then again, Mike was a robot, so of course he'd be chilling. <laughs> These hey, people look like they just been fucked. Yeah, but I don't know what I don't know. Something must have happened. These people are just all drunk. Hey, what happened to mankind? What do you mean? Nah, he looks like somebody from Watch Dogs. Yeah, not fully wiped out, at least. If there are underground facilities like this, people should be living peacefully there. So depression. Do you know if the people in Tokyo are safe? I don't know if everyone's safe, but if they're underground, I think they're alive. And if they're not underground? So what happened while we were on the surface? That... Because we was technically underground when everything started because we was at the aquarium. So something must have happened while they were in the pods, basically. Beats me. Maybe they're dead. W what? Don't say that so casually. So it's been a year since we've been in those damn pods, basically. Probably. I'm not sure yet. All right, there's nothing here.
I'm still like, huh? An hour later. What are you doing? Playing baseball. Does it look like I'm making mochi or something? I'm practicing my batting. Why? Because there's a bat and ball there. I wanted to clear my head. <sighs> hey, Jenu. You heard it too, right? From the people living here. Yeah. It seemed like everyone was saying the same thing. What did you think of it? There were so many things that made no sense. Right? I felt the same. I just got so confused. That's why I'm swinging this bat. I feel like I can empty my head like this. All right, Rachel. Next ball. Go all out. Don't go easy on me. Let her rip. Oh, shit. I hit whacked into it and it came crashing down but was this thing flying around before no it's the first time I've seen it well sure normally you can't see those things me it's been a while guys oh. <gasps> oh right I remember you said it back by the seaside in Kobe what do you yeah. say neon was the coach for Kansai's baseball team right that's right that's why Kansai and I know him What's the matter, Jenu? Nothing. He don't look like probably himself. <laughs> Neon. He Neon. looked like something happened. And more. I missed you so much, Neon. Neon. <laughs> Stay away. Yeah. Oh. You seem pretty cold, even though it's been so long. Yeah. And you ran away before, too. Oh. Yeah. Well. Before that, can you tell me what that weird drone thing is? Yeah, sure. It's just a regular old monitor drone for protecting people. Normally. You can't see him because of the optical camouflage. B wait a minute. What's a monitor drone? Huh? It's like you guys don't know anything. It's true. We're pretty clueless about the whole world. We were asleep for a year. And when we woke up, the world was like this. Um... I got no idea what you're talking about, but let me try to explain. During the year you guys were asleep, the world, it became a paradise. Oh, here we go. Paradise? And these guys were made to maintain it. The monitor drones. 
They were put in different places all over. Thanks to them, people can live peaceful lives. And the thing floating in the air and controlling them all is the Panopticon. You can't see them either, but they say they're shaped like an X. So that's what the X is. An X? Like the shit that we've been seeing? So, like I said, it's, it's it's all an illusion, not an illusion, but a simulation. But the only ones who can see it are me, Pi, and Rachel. What? But I wonder why. We couldn't see the monitor drones, but we could see the X. Maybe it's because the invisibility mechanism is different. The monitor drones use optical camouflage, but the panopticon is different. Yeah, the panopticon is different. So, the, so the, the, the monitors itself, the drones, can turn invisible whenever the hell they want. The panopticon is only people that can... Spe only specific people can see it. So the question is, why and how? You can see the panopticon with your eyes, but the data's blocked from reaching your brain. Like I said, it's a simulation. Data, literally. Literally. Ah, uh, so boring. Who cares about all this anyway? So, who's the jerk who made this panticon thing? Panticon. It's the Joy-Cons, man. It's Panopticon. It means Omnipotent Monitoring System. How the fuck you know that? Have you guys ever heard the name Mike? Yes. The one that Ehime Cult believes in? Wait a minute. Their god? Hmm. God. Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 No, I skipped over. That's what happened. Right, right. They do, they do know who Mike is. It created paradise. So I guess you can that's why they escaped. So that Mike person created the Panopticon? It's not a person. Mike is an artificial intelligence. An AI. <gasps> an AI? I don't know the whole story, but they say it was created by a brilliant Japanese scientist. <laughs> and who's that? Beats me. Don't know the name. Tit Nero's dead. <laughs> Anyway, that person bet, is the I one that bet. messed up the world? Nah. They weren't directly involved in all the changes that happened. So he wasn't involved with the whole earthquake weapon then? It was by Mike's will alone that this earthly paradise was born. Terraforming. How's this moldy, stinky underground of paradise? Yeah. Yeah. It just feels like humans are being controlled by Mike. Why isn't mankind resisting Mike? Resisting? Why would we do that? I told you already. This is a paradise. Why would we resist such a wonderful world? It's not wonderful if everybody's looking like this and all droopy like nothing happened and everybody living in tents and shit. Like, come on. And we live underground where it's just dusty and sand. Besides, like, bruh. Mankind these days. They don't have emotions anymore. They don't have emotions? Everybody turned into a goddamn robot. We turned into tin cans. TI-84s. You talked to the people here, right? Then you should know. But why? 
Mike had the Panopticon send out tiny little doohickeys called nano machines. Mm. They snuck into people's brains and cleaned out their emotions. To stop mankind from resisting? No, that's not it. It was to stop mankind from killing each other. Humans don't get angry or sad anymore. No more hatred, jealousy, or fear. So naturally, all the wars stopped. I mean, you can still technically kill somebody without having any emotion. It's called being a psychotic freak. No more wars, no more murders, not even stealing or any other crime. But you still need food, right? Somebody got food, I'm like, yo, can you give me a sandwich, man? Be like, it's either or somebody's gonna say yes or no. And they say yes. Thanks, man. Now they say no. Uh. <laughs> it's a true utopia. That's why I told you. This place is paradise. Nah. But if there's no emotions, there's no happiness or joy either. Exactly. Of course not. What do you mean, of course? To give up the negative emotions, you gotta give up the positive ones too. Well, emotions is emotion. If you don't have any emotions, you and guys here. It's like a trade-off, I guess. It's not even a trade-off. One is it's specifically emotions. I'm sure people can kill people when they're happy. I'm sure. Did something happen to you too, Neon? Yes. <laughs> huh? Well, you didn't seem to really feel anything. Even when you first met us all. Yeah. I didn't really feel anything special. So, Kansai, how can you just be this? Everybody's already picking up the idea. Not well, not everybody. Nostalgic. If that's what you mean. You're lying! That can't be true! I mean, you don't seem the same as the others here, Neon! You're answering our questions! And your emotions seem to be like... I mean, he's human, but they did, like you said, the damn machines got to him. So, Vanilla says she sent us into the aquarium and... Whatever Penelope did, that's what just Penelope did. So it's just like, she's just an AI herself, controlled by Mike herself. So Vanilla actually saved these these guys. She sent everybody into the pods for a whole year while while that whole thing, so they can avoid the med, the nano machines and stuff. But that was probably what that acid rain was like when they was talking about. That acid rain was probably the, the nano machines itself. Why? Dead. Hey, what's the matter, Chugo? Oh yeah, she got still. She still got bit by a rat. She's burning up with a fever. I think it's an infection. Wait, remember Chuko was bitten by a rat in? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you think that's the cause? If that's the case, then it might be rat bite disease. Rat bite disease? You mean rabies? We need to give her antibiotics or the worst might happen. Oh. Neon, do you have any antibiotics here? Beats me. How the hell y'all a secret ass organization? Y'all are controlled by robots and none of y'all niggas do not have no antibiotics. Man, mankind, no. AIs are dumb. They don't know how sickness is. your friend right yeah but God. to be a true leader no matter what happens that's what a true leader does i skipped that whole cussing because i'm just like i'm sorry you were my role model i get the move but i'm just 
probably impatient at this point. That's a new portrait for Kansai. Uh, he felt that. You may be right. <laughs> this doesn't look good. At this rate, Chuka will really. Let's hurry. We have to find some antibiotics. Yeah. But where should we go to find them? I think there was a big hospital to the west of Nanzinji Temple. Maybe if we go there... Then first we'll have to go outside. I'll carry Chuko. Will you be all right? Hey, who do you think I am? I'm the leader of the Go-Getters Club. All right, guys, let's go. Follow me! That's fucked up. People were toying emotions out here. What are you doing, Miss Jenu? Everyone left already. I know. Can I help you? Yo, this guy. Get him, Jenu. So, you did forget me. You remember Kansai and Chuko, but you don't remember me. <laughs> but I remember you clearly. I'll never forget. Because you're... You're the one that killed my sister! Oh shit. What? It's all your fault, my sister! She... No, Jeno, don't submit to darkness. Don't do it. Don't let Ansem take over you. Oh, she literally. Oh no. I hope she doesn't kill him. I hope she doesn't. Okay, good. Why did you save me? Huh? You hate me, don't you? You want to kill me, right? Then why? Wait, so you do remember? Of course. There's no way I'd forget. Because you're... You're the woman I love, little. Oh, what's the matter? My... My head! It's gonna explode! Oh... Uh, are you okay? Does not sound too good. Do you need some aspirin? Seems like I'm better now. 
Are you really okay? Nah. When I said better, I didn't mean that. I mean, my emotions are back. Huh? What? No time to explain. You hang on. I'll bring you what you need. Huh. What did it take to have... So I guess your memory is jogged or something? What's this? Tranquilizer. I mean, it's shot. It's gun. It's loaded with antibiotics. Antibiotics? So then, if we give this to Miss Chugo, she'll... Yeah, you should be able to save her. But where did you get this? This place has a few medical facilities. I got it there. Anyways, hurry up and give it to her. How about you? I'm gonna lead everyone somewhere safe. There could be another earthquake soon. Okay, you take care of the rest. My question is, who is still causing all of the goddamn earthquakes? Things are unfolding way too fast. I can't keep up. You mean my relationship to Neon? That too. But there's more. Well, regardless. Now isn't the time for talk. We need to get these antibiotics to Chuko as soon as possible. Can we contact them by walkie-talkie? I tried, but I couldn't get a hold of them. I think it's because they already went up to ground level. Then we need to hurry and find them. Let's go! Let's go. Oh, I'm controlling Janu. Well, that's the first. Earthquake! The rubble is blocking our way! What do we do? Well, what can we do? Yep. Hey, why do you know that? I'm kind of a fan of Jose Kizuka too. Whoa! Are you serious? Yes, very. Tell me, this minute, who's your favorite actress? Yikes! Calm down, Miss Chenu! What the hell is going on? All right, General's power, Skywalker. Hey, <laughs> yo, that's a Star Wars reference. <laughs> There's too many references in this game. Oh gosh. Okay, I wish I had those type of powers though. Like, you know how you just jump on the ceiling? Now imagine you do that shit outside. Yeah, you ain't coming back down. You ain't coming back down. For sure. She can use it whenever she wants. She just gotta be careful. What, uh... Miss Janu, things please. are being placed. How did you guys get here? We climbed over all the rubble caused by the earthquake. That makes sense. Well, 
I'll keep on scouting ahead to make sure the path is clear. But will you be okay? Don't worry about it. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh. Right? Chuko is waiting for us to come back with these antibiotics. Everyone else, too. Okay. Got it. Miss Genu, your powers are amazing. I saw it earlier, but to see it again, it's crazy. I can hardly even believe it. <sighs> Mr. Rachel's ability to throw... Miss Pie's force field? They're all totally abnormal. And to top it off, Mr. Mochan can turn his body to iron, right? I thought it was stone. What is the Go-Getters Club anyway? Some kind of strange kid superhero group? Nah, we got, we got injected by nano machines. I don't know either. Maybe it has something to do with the Panopticon. We're in a video game. Because Vanilla wants to play a game. She's toying with everybody. Anyway, She's like, guys, I gotta give you these powers so you can survive. Let's okay. Go. Everybody's like, cool, I, can got, I got super speed, super strength. I got gravity flip. I have baseball throw. I can, I can have a, oh God. Okay, yeah, we definitely don't want to be up there. We gotta regularly jump. Uh, the spikes up there? That's... Well, I know the spikes up there. I'm talking about like at the other part. Seems to be a security robot. What does that robot smile so hard? I don't think we should let it catch us. Oh, maybe we can use your ability, Miss Genu. No, I can only go part of the way on the ceiling. Wait, if the robot can come this way, if I use the ceiling right, maybe I can go forward without being spotted. Be careful, Miss Genu! I will. Gravity flip. Let's do this. Come on, robot. You got this. That was like mad easy. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> oh God, just don't jump by mistake. We finally made it. How did you two get past that robot? The falling rubble hit the robot and it stopped. Well, that's crazy. I... I see. Anyway, look! There's another robot here! Yeah. Yeah. If we can get rid of the robot, we can press the switch up top. Hmm. Maybe that switch can open the door up ahead. There's some way to do it. I wish they had some type of specific dialogue for like Rachel. Instead of just him giving like ellipses and stuff. Oh. Shit. Hmm. Wait, did that switch go? Huh. Wait, is that switch red? Okay, it is red. I just gotta wait. There you go. Open that. Go. You, did it. you know, I like Geno's power, honestly. Because I've always been like, I always said to myself, like, if I had a power, I wouldn't like to bounce around everywhere or have super speed, run up the walls. But Geno's? You just easily just flip to like different sides of the wall and at different axes. Like, that shit is wavy. Yeah, ninja. Ceiling robots. Great. 
What is that? It's a drone! I think it's patrolling this place like those robots from before! How do we get by it? Where did those rocks come from? With a rock? Hey, it's worth a try. Do what you do best, Rachel. Hey, robot. Fetch. Wait. Bitch. Well, ain't that some shit? Damn. Imagine there's achievements, don't get caught. Ow, whoa, what? No! Screw this Joy-Con drip. Bitch. Yeah, you can't get me. Did I say that? Okay. <laughs> Yo, they need to add some type of dialogue. I swear, like, choices or something. Because, I don't know, Rachel just being a silent protagonist? Oh, shit. Alright, just be careful. So hopefully those hitboxes don't mess me up. Wait. I can imagine. Haste makes waste. That'll be me in the future. If I be hasty going through these pillars. Well, ain't that so Yo, I literally said that. I literally said that. I said what the pillars just fell a certain direction. I literally said that. And what, what do I get? I get jinxed. Like, does it tell you when it's gonna, like, crack? No. Oh, kinda. You gotta look at it specifically. Right? I don't know anymore. That's a bottomless pit. The floor has totally collapsed. Jenu, we need you here. Okay. I'll go on ahead and scout things out. There are lots of spiky things on the ceiling. Be careful, okay? General power, activate. Flip. Jump. Ow. There you go. Oh, wait, no. What the fuck am I doing? All right, yeah. I, yeah, I, I lost brain cells at that one. All right. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just don't. Alright. It's that drone from earlier, Miss Jenu. Yeah. And now it seems to be watching the ceiling, too. Alright, how did the robot nobody doing to be on the ceiling? Like, what the thing? Wait, like, what's that thing recording? And this time. There's Lies. Throw with the drone. Look, there's a big box over there. I don't think Rachel could throw that, but it may come in handy. First, let's drop it down there. We drop the box. Drop box. 
Oh, it watches. Oh, okay, it's like a. All you gotta do is just push the box. Hurry, 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 hurry. Yay! So we can get on top of that. I gotta wait. We can just. Let's go! Let's go! Electro Ranger Green, rare st Ow! I hurt myself. be there <laughs> another earthquake what's up these earthquakes look there are cracks all over the ground if we step on them it may collapse let's be careful Whoa. Whoa. Um. Okay. That was just there to fuck with you. I know that. <laughs> I kind of knew that. I was like, damn. safe ground after this point and the ceiling is covered with spikes so what do we do mr rachel it's too dangerous to just run right through Insane, but I guess we just have to go. Got a super sonic racing, gotta keep your feet right on the ground. Got a super sonic racing, come on, let the fire burn. I uh, don't know the rest of the lyrics. Maybe we made it out safely. Let's go. Yo, why did he walk up the stairs like that? She like tap dancing on the stairs. Yo, yo. All right, I'm at today's videos right here. Uh, there's gonna be more soon coming out. I took a, a little bit of a hiatus because I've been going out lately. So yeah, I'll be trying my best to stream more stream more often and uh yeah um yeah see you guys in the next one and uh peace